Have you ever wondered how your body manages to do everything it does in a single day? Think about it. From the simple act of blinking to the complex process of digesting your favorite pizza, your body is a marvel of nature, a beautifully orchestrated symphony of systems working in harmony. Consider, if you will, the complexity and capabilities of this incredible machine we call the human body. It's not just an assembly of bones and muscles. It's more than a vessel for our thoughts and dreams. It's a labyrinth of intricate systems, each with its own purpose, each with its own unique function. There's the cardiovascular system, pumping life-giving blood around your body, tirelessly, every second of every day. Then, there's the nervous system, a vast network of electrical impulses, transmitting messages between your brain and every square inch of your body. And don't forget the digestive system, working diligently to break down the food you eat into energy you can use. And what's truly astounding is how these systems and many more work together in harmony. A symphony of processes, each playing its part, all orchestrated by the incredible conductor that is your brain. Yet, as complex as these systems are, they're made up of even smaller parts. Your body is like a city, with individual cells as the citizens, each performing their role, contributing to the overall function of the body. But why are we telling you all this? Because understanding your body is key to maintaining your health. The more you know about how your body works, the better equipped you are to keep it in peak condition. And let's face it, your body is the most valuable possession you'll ever own. So buckle up and get ready to dive into the fascinating world of the human body. In this exploration, we will journey into the depths of our being, revealing the secrets of our inner workings. Prepare to be amazed, and perhaps gain a new appreciation for the marvel that is you. Think of the body as a well-oiled machine, and what's a machine without a control center? Now imagine that control center, but instead of buttons and levers, it's made up of billions of cells transmitting signals at lightning speed. Welcome to your nervous system, the body's built-in electrical wiring. Just like how a computer has hardware and software, the nervous system consists of two main parts, the central nervous system, which is like the CPU, and the peripheral nervous system, serving as the network cables. Together, they create a complex and intricate network of communication that keeps the body running smoothly. The central nervous system is the boss, comprising the brain and spinal cord. It's where all the important decision-making happens. When you decide to take a step, it's your brain sending a signal via the spinal cord to your leg muscles, telling them to move. Meanwhile, the peripheral nervous system is the messenger. It's made up of a vast network of nerves that carry messages from the central nervous system to the rest of the body and back. It's like the postal service, but instead of delivering mail, it's delivering information. Every sensation you feel, every movement you make, it's all thanks to these diligent nerves. But the nervous system doesn't just control movement, it's also responsible for the things we often take for granted, like thinking, feeling, and sensing. When you smell a delicious pie baking in the oven, that's your nervous system at work. When you pull your hand away from a hot stove, that's your nervous system saving you from harm. In a nutshell, the nervous system is the body's electrical wiring, transmitting signals to and from different parts of the body, enabling us to interact with and respond to our environment. It's a marvel of nature, an intricate network of communication that is working tirelessly, even as you're listening to this. So the next time you're about to catch a ball, remember it's not just your hand at work, but an entire network of nerve cells communicating at lightning speed. Without it, we wouldn't be able to think, touch, feel, see, or even move. Now imagine a bustling highway with vehicles carrying essential goods to various destinations. That's your circulatory system. Welcome to the body's highway, where the traffic never stops. It's a 24-7 operation. This intricate network of roads or blood vessels is over 60,000 miles long. That's enough to circle the earth two and a half times. So what's moving along these highways? Red blood cells, our body's delivery trucks, they're packed with oxygen and nutrients, the fuel that our cells need to function. Just like a truck driver needs a cup of coffee to stay alert, our cells need oxygen to keep going. And the nutrients? They're the building blocks that our cells use to grow and repair themselves. But it's not just a one-way street. Our body's highway is a round trip. After dropping off their cargo, the red blood cells don't return empty. They carry away carbon dioxide and other waste products. This is the cellular equivalent of taking out the trash. And just like you wouldn't want garbage piling up in your house, our cells don't want waste hanging around. So who's in charge of this complex operation? The heart? 
our body's traffic controller. This tireless organ keeps the traffic moving, pumping blood around the body at an impressive rate. In just one minute, your heart pumps enough blood to fill over 40 soda cans. That's a lot of cargo. Now, you might be thinking, surely with all this traffic there must be accidents. Well, our body's highway is remarkably safe. The blood vessels are lined with a smooth layer that allows blood cells to glide along easily. But just like any highway, it needs regular maintenance. Eating a healthy diet, getting regular exercise, and avoiding smoking are all ways we can keep our highways in top condition. So our circulatory system is like the body's personal delivery service. Ever wondered how your body manages to keep you breathing even when you're asleep? Well, folks, that's all thanks to our respiratory system, the body's very own air filter. This system is responsible for taking in oxygen, a gas we can't live without, and getting rid of carbon dioxide, a waste product that could be harmful if it's stuck around. So how does this amazing system work? Well, it all starts when we take a breath. Air enters our body through our nose or mouth, travels down a pipe called the trachea, and then gets divided between two smaller tubes called bronchi, one for each lung. Inside the lungs, the bronchi split into even smaller tubes, like branches of a tree, and end in tiny air sacs called alveoli. Now these alveoli aren't just hanging out for fun, they're where the magic happens. Oxygen from the air we breathe in passes through the thin walls of the alveoli and into our bloodstream, while carbon dioxide, a waste product from our body's cells, moves from the blood into the alveoli. Then, when we exhale, we push that carbon dioxide out of the body, making room for fresh oxygen with the next breath. It's a beautiful exchange, like a dance between gases, all happening right inside our lungs. But our respiratory system doesn't work alone. It's in constant communication with the circulatory system, which carries that fresh oxygen to every cell in our bodies. It's like the respiratory system is the mailroom, sorting and delivering the oxygen mail, while the circulatory system is the mail carrier, making sure every cell gets its delivery. And all this happens without us even having to think about it. Even when we're sleeping, our body continues this vital work, taking in oxygen and expelling carbon dioxide. It's a non-stop operation, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Imagine, with every breath you take, your body is performing a complex operation to keep you alive. You might enjoy your favorite foods, but have you ever thought about what happens to it once you swallow? Well, welcome to the body's fuel station, also known as the digestive system. This incredible network is always at work, breaking down food into nutrients, which the body uses for energy, growth, and cell repair. It's like a busy factory, operating 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Imagine, if you will, a bustling city with a complex transit system. The food we eat embarks on a journey that rivals any epic adventure. It begins in the mouth, where the simple act of chewing, along with enzymes in our saliva, start to break down the food. Then, it's down the esophagus, like a slide at the playground, right into the stomach. The stomach, a muscular bag, acts like a mixer, churning and grinding the food with stomach acid. It's a bit like how you might knead dough when making bread. This process turns the food into a semi-liquid substance, which then enters the small intestine. The small intestine is where the magic really happens. It's lined with tiny hair-like structures called villi, which absorb the nutrients from the food. These nutrients are then sent into the bloodstream, like tiny delivery trucks, to be used by the body. But what about the waste, you ask? Well, that's where the large intestine, or colon, comes in. It absorbs the remaining water from the indigestible food matter, and then the waste is expelled from the body. It's a bit like taking out the trash, only a lot more sophisticated. Now, the digestive system doesn't work alone. It gets help from the liver, which produces bile to help break down fats, and the pancreas, which releases enzymes to assist in digestion. So, you see, the digestive system is a marvel of nature, turning the food we eat into the fuel we need to live, grow, and repair ourselves. It's a process that's happening right now, inside you, as we speak. So next time you're enjoying a meal, thank your digestive system for turning it into fuel for your body. But what happens when one of these systems doesn't function as it should? Let's find out. Picture this, you're enjoying your favorite dish when suddenly you experience sharp abdominal pain. This could be your digestive system raising the red flag, perhaps due to a condition like gastritis or gallstones. These disorders can cause severe discomfort, affecting your ability to enjoy meals and sometimes even leading to serious complications. Or imagine this, you're out for a brisk morning walk, but you're struggling to catch your breath. 
It's not just the morning chill, but your respiratory system could be facing some trouble. Conditions like asthma or pneumonia can hamper your lungs' ability to pull in oxygen and expel carbon dioxide, making even simple tasks feel like you're climbing Mount Everest. And let's not forget the circulatory system. This silent warrior works tirelessly, pumping life-giving blood throughout our bodies. But when conditions like hypertension strike, they can disrupt this vital flow, leading to serious health concerns like heart attacks and strokes. Then there's the nervous system, our body's command center. When disorders like Parkinson's disease or multiple sclerosis affect this system, it can lead to symptoms ranging from tremors and muscle stiffness to difficulties with balance and coordination. Finally, consider our skeletal system. It's not just there to make you stand tall or to show off your dance moves. Conditions like osteoporosis can weaken your bones, making them more prone to fractures. So, as we've seen, diseases and disorders can lead to a range of symptoms and complications. They can affect our daily lives, limiting our activities and compromising our well-being. But fret not, advances in medical science are constantly helping us better understand these conditions, leading to more effective treatments and preventive measures. So, while it's important to be aware of these potential health issues, it's equally important to remember that help is at hand. As you can see, it's crucial that all our body systems function properly to keep us healthy and thriving. So, we've taken a whirlwind tour of our body's major systems. Fascinating, isn't it? Just imagine, we've journeyed through the marvelous network that is the human body, an awe-inspiring universe within us. We began by marveling at the intricacies of our body's electrical wiring. We traced the billions of nerve cells that, like a grand orchestra, conduct the symphony of our existence. Next, we hit the road on our body's highway, the circulatory system. It's a round-the-clock delivery service shuttling oxygen, nutrients, and hormones to every cell and whisking away waste products. It's a hustle and bustle that never stops, keeping us alive and thriving. We then took a breather with the body's air filter, our respiratory system. It's not just about inhaling oxygen and exhaling carbon dioxide. It's a constant balancing act, maintaining the right pH level in our blood to keep all our cells functioning optimally. At our body's fuel station, the digestive system, we discovered the incredible journey of a cheeseburger from mouth to, well, the other end. It's a complex process of breaking down food into the tiniest of nutrients and distributing them throughout our body. And of course, we looked at what happens when body systems go awry. From heart disease to asthma, diabetes to arthritis, our bodies are constantly battling internal and external threats. But even in the face of adversity, our body's systems work tirelessly to restore balance. Through this voyage, we've seen just how interconnected our body systems are. No system works in isolation. They're all part of a tightly knit community, working together in harmony. It's a testament to the marvel of nature, the miracle of life. Remember, every part of you, from your brain cells to your heart, works together to make you the amazing person you are. So take care of your body. It's the only place you have to live in.